This next posture we're looking at is locust pose. We're gonna start laying down on our bellies so you can make your way there. So you're going to take your feet hip width apart. As you're learning this, it's okay to have your feet a little bit wider, making sure you're pressing your baby toes into the floor rather than letting the insides of your feet come down to your mat. Inward rotation. So I like to lift my hips, lift my knees, inwardly rotate. Hands interlace behind you. Let me bring the forehead to the floor. So start to really activate your legs. Press the tops of your feet down so much that your knees leave the floor and really length length through those toes. Wrap your shoulder blades together around your spine and twist your hands behind your back. If you can't make it here, you can grab a towel, a t-shirt. If you have a yoga strap, you can grab onto that. Palms facing up and gradually work your hands closer together over time. From here, lift your fist off your low back and press your shoulder blades away from you. So shoulder blades are really squeezing together. As you inhale, lift your upper body. So you lift your fist high, you lift your head, your chest, and you press back. Keep your neck nice and long like you're holding an apple or an orange underneath it. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, float your toes. Lengthening your toes back. Reaching your fist back, but at the same time melting your heart forward. Every inhale, heart lifts. Every exhale, toe lifts. For three, keep expanding, keep reaching, two, and then release all the way down. We'll do it one more time. Bring your forehead back to the floor, hands interlace at your low back, or grab a towel or a strap. As you inhale, lift your upper body, tops of the feet press down, knees float. On the next exhale, float the toes, belly hug spine, so that front and back body are working equally. Lots of length. Fist press back, but heart melts through. And slowly release. And that is our locust pose. Core strengthener, heart opener. Really, really good work. I'll see you in the next one.